Publish Industry India and brought to you by Star Engineers and Grand Mobility. Good morning. This is Anushka Wani, Digital Editor at EM and AND Magazine, and welcome back to the Morning Bites. This podcast is presented by Publish Industry India and brought to you by Star Engineers and Grand Mobility. This week's headlines focus on the business and industrial updates from India and across the globe so that you kickstart your week. Today's episode focuses on some major budget 2024 highlights. Here is a quick glimpse. The semiconductor and electronic manufacturing market has revived a major push in this year's budget planning. The budget also plans to boost the EV ecosystem while focusing on manufacturing, charging and e-transportation. In this episode, we are also pleased to have Mr. Shailendra Goswami who will share his insights on the Indian EV market. Before we go ahead, we are pleased to present Dr. Anil Lamba, Chartered Accountant, Financial Literacy Activist, author of the best-selling book, Romancing the Balance Sheet. When managements of corporations announce we are a debt-free company, I have never understood whether they are boasting or apologizing. The Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, while revealing the Union Budget 2024, has mentioned the outlay on the semiconductor and display manufacturing has increased. This plan has been brought into place under the modified program for development of semiconductors and display manufacturing ecosystem in India by 130% to Rs 6,903 crore. The scheme covers capex on land, buildings, plants, clean rooms, transfer of technology and R&D facilities. The Union Budget has plans to expand and strengthen the Indian EV ecosystem by supporting the manufacturing and charging infrastructure. The Finance Minister in a speech also added that this support will help create business opportunities for a large number of vendors and help them develop and supply these EV charging solutions. While we are on the subject of the Indian EV ecosystem, we have with us Mr. Shailendra Goswami, who is a Managing Director for Pushkaraj Industries. With the vast experience that he yields, let us hear what he has to say about the Indian EV market. You know, uh, conventionally, uh, if you really look at it, uh, uh, we may have done a lot of research, but uh, on ground reality is that uh, two wheelers, three wheelers, and four wheelers, which is passenger, they will necessarily be electric. But when it comes to commercial vehicles, it will most probably tilt, the balance will tilt towards hydrogen. That is what most of the people are saying because of the requirements of the duty and uh, the kind of uh, load, uh, the payload and other things we, uh, we have to take into consideration. But if you really look at these two, three and four wheelers, we have done exceedingly well. The number of vehicles which we are producing, I don't have the statistics in front of me, those could be available from anywhere. But then certainly I think our products are matured as far as two wheelers are concerned, three wheelers are concerned and even four wheelers. Our indigenous manufacturing facilities of our indigenous manufacturers are way ahead. Yes, uh, yes. It's fast-paced and ever-changing business environment where innovation and technology are constantly emerging. It is essential for industries and businesses to remain up-to-date and adapt to the evolving landscapes. Our objective is to assist you in staying ahead of the curve by providing you with the latest developments and trends. Join our community and keep pace with the changing industry. That was it for this week's industrial update. We will be back next week. For more updates, log on to www.pi-india.in. Thank you and have a nice day. Industry India and brought to you by Star Engineers and Grand Mobility.